Hello everyone, welcome back to the second episode of my Crystal Palace save of Championship Manager 0102 with the latest date, uh, October 2017 update. Um, if we look at our pre-season from the last episode, we got pretty much a 100% record, barring the conceded goal in the third game against Bologna. Um, in this episode, I'm looking at getting at least three games done with uh, Burnley, Tottenham and Swansea, possibly Brighton if we haven't, you know, done too much time recording. We'll see how we get on though. Um, yeah, so let's crack on. Team are looking pretty unfit, but, but then saying that we've just had a game, haven't we? So yeah, no, that makes sense. Got a week to recover now. Let's, uh, let's crack on with it. Um, yeah, I do apologise for the echoing that's going on with my microphone. I mean, you may sort of notice it in this, this episode as well. So I do apologise for that. I, I don't know why it's doing it. If anyone has got any tips or whatever, then please pass them on. But I'm only using a sort of cheap microphone anyway, really. But uh, it seems to be doing the job and I think a slight echo shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we've got Chelsea v Arsenal here in the Community Shield. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Arsenal on penalties. So Arsenal actually won it in real life, didn't they, this season? So, yeah, so that's obviously not on penalties, I don't think. But was it penalties? I can't, I can't remember, to be honest. It might have been. But yeah, here we go. Ah, so Boreham Wood appointed Keane as manager, and we wanted him as assistant. So he's actually took a managerial role up. But never mind, we got our man in the end, didn't we? I think we got, did we get Colin Pascoe? I'm pretty sure we did, didn't we? Yep, Colin Pascoe. Okay. Let me crack on. Yeah, so as I mentioned in the last episode, it would be nice to get like a, a top 10 finish this season if we could. Um, I'd be happy with that, you know. It would, it would be quite a good step for the first season. Then we can build on from that. Obviously, this season, you know, we need to sort of get our foot in, really. I haven't got a great deal or amount of money to spend. I don't really want to sell too many players just yet because we'll lack a lot of depth, you know, so it's best to keep the team at the minute, see what we got first season and uh, maybe get rid of the Deadwood next season and bring some new faces in. Yes. I'll tell you what I did want to do. I wanted my reserves to play exactly the same way as we're playing for the first team because I'll tell you why that's a good a good thing basically when you bring a reserve player in they're quite used to your style of football then because they're playing it for the reserves so that's my reasoning behind it uh, we want cross ball on don't we because the first team has got that on so yeah we'll put that on so we're keeping on the reserve results and see how they get on I'm going to have another look at the transfer market actually, it's important because it would be nice to get another player in if we could, uh, see who's, who's listed, 24, now how I'd love to get him, how I would love to get him, but for some reason I don't think he'd be, want, no he won't want to come will he? Um, Tom Carroll. Do you know what? He's not bad at all. He is not bad at all. Not a bad player at all, he isn't. And we are lacking in the central midfield, aren't we? I mean, we've got Kabaya off the cheek. We did sign Bedell, didn't we? So, I'll tell you what, I'll, keep, I'll add him to shortlist for now and keep an eye on him. Um, I think we looked at him last episode. It's okay, nothing special. Um, there's no one really out there, is there? I mean, no, he's not bad, Montero. He's on loan from Swansea. No. There's just no one there, really, is there? There really isn't. Anders Lindegaard, ex Man United, I believe. Yep. 
pretty poor though, isn't he really? Let's just have a look at the loans again, so you see who's about. Yeah, there's no one there. Yeah, we just have to crack on for now. Maybe it might be that um, the next transfer window we manage to get somebody. So here we go, we got Burnley now. Throw some mentors out. Shut up, international duty, so we'll put, we'll put him there. Might give Martin Kelly a game today. As I said before, he's, he's a decent player. We'll put him on rotation, we'll give him a go. Um, Jin Young. So Zahar's out. He played quite well last time punching, didn't he, when he came in? So we give him a crack on there. Yeah, we have to call somebody up. Oh no, we don't, sorry. We don't need that, do we? Mm, better put him there, to be honest. MacArthur, Delaney. Yeah, perhaps take. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. This fella actually missed a penalty, didn't he, against Man City in the 90th minute? Bit gutting. I would have loved to have seen Palace just put a dent in there on beating record, but must the pressure must have got to him. I don't, I don't know, but never mind. Right, let's have a look. Scott Dan's 80%. Good job I checked that. The depth of the team is just so... It's, it's not a lot there. It really isn't. Damien Delaney. 36-year-old. You know, I, I don't really want to be resorting to players like that. Right. Guess we've got no choice, have we? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that for now. We'll have to. See, I bet he's lacking in pace. Nine pace. I mean, Sacco isn't the quick, is he? 14. We'll go with that. We'll see how we get on. Oh, sorry, turn the old sound off. Come, boys. Nice to start off a win. Get in, punching. Fantastic. Done well in pre season. Now he's scoring in uh, competitive fixtures, which is good. 1 0 half time, lovely. Passing the ball nicely, which is good. Boys are playing them pretty solid. Addition. Punching. Yep, no, we're all good at the minute. Nothing to change, really. Keep it on attack because I want to try and get the second goal if I can. Boys, ah. Damn it. Yes. Oh, no. I hate it when that happens. You think you've scored and it's dis disallowed. Towns in there. I'm trying to think, what do we do here? Do we. We don't really want the draw, do we? We want, we want more than that. We'll bring off, bring off Towns in and we'll bring on Chun Yong. But the old jazzy playing. No, no need to change that, I don't think. We try. I mean, I've also noticed we're playing, a, trying to play a short passing style, but with Ben Teke, we're probably better off going direct, to be honest. But I like to sort of dominate possession, so I don't know. I might have to see what works better, altering games, and just see what works better, really. We change that up now and see if we can get the goal. Oh no. Well, it's not very good. Mm, we push him forward. Yeah. How are we doing? Forward runs. Yeah, we chaining Jim. James MacArthur. We we'll take off Loftus Cheek. We we'll try and see if we can get a goal back here. Throw caution to the wind if you like. Nah. Well, that's a complete bummer to have lost two. We won. And it was a close.
close game really but a bit annoying if I'm honest but we'll just have to crack on Arsenal beat City blimey now dominated the game as well yeah I'm a bit I'm a bit annoyed with that to be honest to open up like that but you know we can crack on I guess I think it's going to be quite a challenge with Crystal Palace because with the team just not having a lot of depth it's it's going to be hard really as I said in the last episode I mean Ben Teke if he gets injured we're screwed basically because there's no one that can come in for him you know so it's a bit of a, it's a tough one that we need someone really who can I mean I was looking at Peter Crouch <laughs> as, as old as he is but he would be handy to bring on you know he's 36 but you know he's he would probably do a bit of a job holding the ball up I might make a cheeky bid for him yeah we'll try we'll make a cheeky bid for him he, he's you know he, he's he's better than what we've got yeah he's 36 but we can have him for a season and um, yeah let's see how we go really we need someone because I don't think somebody like Connor Wickham strong enough to be honest right is the League Cup second round the draw who do we get let's have a look Rochdale away Rochdale they're in League One yeah, we we should beat them, but who knows? You know, you never know, do you? All right, have we got Tottenham now. Tottenham, that's going to be a tough game. As the hard is he back? Ninety-two percent. You'll probably get him on the bench, to be honest. Scott Dan, he's back at hundred percent. Get Delaney. Do you know what? I just realised I played Suarez at the back. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't mean. Uh, I've just realised that. What a complete cock up. I played this fella at centre back. No wonder we leak goals. Ah, uh, well, that was a silly cock up on my part. So I do apologise for that. Uh, yeah, so. Mind you saying that. Well, Delaney's not that bad at 36, really. Not that, that bad. Um, what's the rest of the team like? Punching, yep. Okay. See how we get on here. I've got to say as well, on this um, particular update, Manchester United were put in the Champions League instead of Liverpool because you could only put four teams in and we've just gone to go down. Um, oh, great. Yeah, so if you're wondering why Liverpool aren't in the Champions League, that's the case. One team had to miss out. And obviously the updaters thought, well, United should go in because they won the trophy, a trophy to get in. You know, obviously I'm going to disagree because I'm a Liverpool fan, but that's what they did. So if you're wondering. Brilliant goal back, Ben Teke. No, this was always going to be a tough game. There's no denying it. Tottenham are a good side, aren't they? So... Yeah, look, 3-1. It's going to be a struggle this season, I think. <laughs> come on, boys, come on. Oh, great, and then we get a red card. To a centre-back as well. Great. Mm. I think we're just going to go for it. We might as well just... We've got nothing to lose here. We might as well just go for it. We, 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 we've left space at the back oh look at that we might seriously go for it come on boys come on I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell the boys to go direct we, we're playing quite well to be fair uh, Zaha 
Let's bring on Zahar. Yeah, he's only 92 percent, but he's gonna bring a bit of speed in, a bit of service for Benteke. Come on, boys! Come on! Come on, boys! Ah, four two, damn! Game over, really, isn't it? Um, he's terrible, isn't he? I don't know what he's on the bench for. A car. Might as well give him a car for a game. Last five minutes. Uh, four or two. Well, look, we played. We played really well there. To be fair. We did play really well. No, and they, but they had the sending off, so we should have made more more of it, really. I think, but yeah, never mind. We we'll move on. First two games we lost, which is a bit of a bummer. Who we got next? Swansea next. We gotta win that. We gotta try and win that. I'm going to have one more look because we really are needing something. We've got 9 million, I mean. There's just there's nothing there, really, is there? He's not a bad player, this fella. But uh, I don't know if we could get him. I wonder if we could get him for that. If we could, that'd be fantastic. What else we got? Rome Sinclair, yeah, he was at Liverpool. I was just going to say that. He's young, but he's not great, is he? He can't really do much for us, I don't think. Um, really, isn't a lot there, is there? Hatton Ben Arthur, let me know. Thirty years old, never really cut in the Premier, did he? But then he went to Nice and done well, but then PSG he didn't. He's, he's a Funny player he is. He's electric at some clubs, and he was terrible at others. And, and he wants to go. So, so, do you know what? I'm going to take a punt on the guy. What have we got to lose? He's thirty. He's still. He's not too old, you know. He's still still fairly young, really. So, you could offer saying maybe I'll get the best out of him. Who knows? Reserves one two one and Connor Wickham he shone in that role so keep an eye on that actually. You see what I mean? They play to your style. Okay, the team instructions change a bit because that depends on the manager. But formation wise, it stays. That's Tom Carroll actually. Peter Crouch interested. Mm. Ideally, he's going to be back up, but if I put back up, he won't want to come, I don't think. So we go with squad rotation. And, yeah, he don't even want that, does he? He earns 7,000 a week. We can't give him that, that's just ridiculous. We give him 25. Let me see how we go with that. Give him a gold bonus of 2.5. Manager to job release course. We go with that. We'll see how we get on. You know, I have Real Madrid Super Cup. Madrid beat them, so that was true to real life. Here we go, Swansea. Oh, it's a pain, isn't it? I mean. We should be looking for a centre back, really. We can't rely on a 36 year old. What have we got in reserve? James Tom. I forgot we had this guy. What am I going on about? 36 year old, and I didn't even check the reserves. I'm going to play him. Where is he? 
Tompkins. And then if Schlapp, we'll take him off and we'll put Delaney on the bench. This guy's terrible, isn't he, really? But then we ain't got a striker yet to change him up with. What's Swansea? Our oh, basic 4 4 2. Want to attack us? Yeah, hopefully, we can beat these. Come on, my boys. <clears throat> Still pretty annoyed that I played um, that soir at centre back. I, I don't know how I managed to, to uh, select the wrong bloke, but brilliant cowboy again. But yeah, never mind, you just move on then, don't you? Come on, boys. This Get another one here. Come on. Be nice to get a win here. Yes, brilliant punching again. Fantastic. As our hard doing for fitness, ninety four. We'll introduce him slowly, I think. No need to change anything in a minute. Uh, we'll put it on normal. Don't attack as much now. Come on, boys. Let's see this out. Ah, damn it. Both wingers playing well. They bring off punch and no for Zaha. Uh, yeah, and Kabai can come off. Change up there. And give Gerald Ward a go. He's actually pretty good. I shouldn't really be playing Martin Kelly over him. I suppose that's my Liverpool loyalties for you. Come on, boys, see this out. I don't really want to sit back and see it out. I want to. S yes, get in. Loftus cheek. Uh, we'll play Membi on the ball now. Tap these boys in. See the game out. <laughs> and then they score. Probably not good. Right in pressure like that. If they score, I'm going to pay for it. Yes. Probably shouldn't have sat back there, really. A bit of a bad move, but we got the win. This guy's good, isn't he? Sanchez. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> nice win. I think we try and fit one more one more game in if we can, when, when we do to play sixth. We try, try and get up to that if we can. Still got about seven minutes on the clock, so four half hours, so we see if we can do it. Ben Arthur's interested, brilliant. Oh, lovely. Oh, we take that. Great to get him in. Oh, Dost wants to come though. Ah. Uh, what is he getting? I think we're only going to be able to get one of these with uh, the money we've got. I'd probably take Dost over Ben Arthur, to be honest, because we need a striker more. Crouch. There's no point bothering with Crouch now because we don't need him if we get these one of these guys. Well. We'd need him if we um, got Ben Arthur, but if I get Dost, I won't need him. I think I'm pronouncing his name in right. I'm probably not. Mm. Mm. 
we might not have time to get the next game in I'm not sure we we take it up to the 30 minute mark see where we're at if if not then we'll have to do that one next episode Uh, let's see if we can get a sign in, that'd be nice. Ben Arthur. We put him on delay for now because I'd rather have Dost. Uh, we can't even give the guy a sign in on fee, can we? Right, so we'll have to go against that then. Do we go back in for Crouch? to go back in the crouch I think <sighs> Ben Arthur's not a bad signing though I think I think we'll, we'll get, we will get the best out of him hopefully nah he still doesn't want to come does he We'll have to move on from him. I mean, Connor Wickham is, is improving, isn't he? I'm going to take the guy off the transfer list and say he's back up for now. If he does well on the reserves, we'll have to just rely on him, I think. minute Callum Chambers not a bad player is he do you know what he'd do good for a centre back option but he's quite dear isn't he and, uh, Danny Ings wow I don't know if he can play as a target man no can he but then he would be an option I wonder if we can get him on the line. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, no, no chance. I think I've kicked myself in the teeth with that Ben Arthur thing. Because, yeah, I knew it. I've just realised I've made a cock up there. By delaying it, he's not going to get here in time. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> Great. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Because I've now missed the deadline by delaying it. So, oh, we made two cock-ups in this, in this episode. It's not good. I do apologise for that. Bit stupid of me, really. Uh, so we're very short now. Uh, yeah, we'll bring him in in January. It'd be a good reinforcement. Right, we're approaching the 30 minute mark in about a minute. So I think we're going to have to leave it here, guys. But... Um, yeah, a bit of a mixed episode really, um, lost two games, one of them expected to lose against Tottenham, the Burnley one I was a bit annoyed about, especially considering I made a cock up, I put in Swa as a centre back when I didn't mean to, but um, we did beat Swansea, unfortunately we haven't signed no more players which is a bit a bit annoying, but um, you know, the crack on didn't we, oh what's he done here? He's a bit temperamental though, isn't he? He is temperamental. I mean, I could always withdraw it. We'll keep an eye on him, you know. We'll withdraw it if he keeps playing up because I don't want no disharmony at the club. Right, yep. So, so we'll leave it there then, guys. Next episode, we'll have um, Brighton and then we'll see how we get on. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you for episode 3.